mean, I don't think I've ever gotten to work on a play that is actually uh, like a dragon slaying adventure before, uh, though I wish that that was what more plays were like. It's about family and friendship and dungeons and dragons. So this D&D module takes Agnes into a total world that is not her own. She comes from cheerleading and pop music and now she's engulfed in this world of nerds and demon gods um, and it's totally out of her element. It is both a comedy uh, and a sci-fi fantasy adventure, but it also it goes to some very real places. On the surface, it's about fantasy and Dungeons and Dragons and, and not fitting in, but underneath that, it's about otherness and it's about being treated equally to people. And it takes place inside of a Dungeons and Dragons campaign. So, so on that very ground level, you already have a world in which suddenly, you know, you go from being in high school to transcending into a world of demon queens and elves and dragons. On a literal level, there is a plethora of monster killing, which is so much fun. But it's also, the she is really important because we get a super powerful female lead on stage. So you have a lot of like nerd female protagonists, but very rarely do you get to a um, work on something or even see something where actually like the person from a strength perspective kicking butt the whole time is a woman and in this play it's not one but it's like four to six at any given time. If you like strong powerful women kicking demonic butt you will like She Kills Monsters.